Here we go on the morning X. <laughs> Sabering bottles. Have you heard about it? You're doing it to champagne that dates all the way back to the 17th century. And the current world record for doing this, sabering bottles, is 68 in 60 seconds. Keegan Corcoran joining us now in studio, telling us how this man plans to beat that record later this month. And you know, Keegan, you brought in a big blade. I'm not a fan of knives. I, I have a, I, right. ah, I just don't want to like take a finger off or take your arm off. Things could happen, well, you know? The good news is, is that this blade is not. Are sharp. you the current world record holder? I am not. I wish I was. Okay. Then I could just relax, you know? Okay. It's, but this gives you something to shoot for. Exactly. Yeah. So sabering bottles, why were we doing this? We didn't have bottle openers back in the day? Well, it actually uh, <laughs> has a long history going back to Napoleon when the wow. cavalry were opening. They, you know, it was kind of a challenge for them to open up in a creative way bottles of champagne. They literally were using their sabers. Similar to this, although wow. more significant, right? And that's this a real actually, saber, right? That's designed for champagne okay. opening. Yeah. I feel like Arabian Nights. Like you should just pull this out of your thing and be like, oh yeah, God. Look, it looks pretty, yeah, but yeah. you know, it's dull. You know, there's nothing to it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good to know that it's dull uh, before one of us loses something. Okay, so uh, are we both doing this? What do we do? If you like, yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to do it first I just time. I don't want to lose an arm. I'll be careful now. Okay. We'll talk about, you know, the t removing a cork uh, from a champagne bottle or taking the cage off. There's okay. about anywhere from 50 to 90 uh, pounds per square inch pressure. So sometimes between two to three times the pressure in the uh, tire of your car. Oh, great. Okay. Exactly. So uh, yeah. don't want to lose an eye. You do not. So you always want to, if you if, if you ever remove uh, a cage off a cork, okay. always have your thumb on the top there. Thumb on the top. And make sure it's pointed in a safe direction. We don't want it to go anywhere crazy. Okay. And it's six, and now you, six twists counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, Five. Oh, I didn't vibe. There you go. Well, overachieving yeah, already. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're gonna so, have uh, just. T I, I wouldn't take the the uh, cage off. The cage off just yet. Leave just it make on. Sure, yeah, just make sure that the cork's not gonna fly out. And this one looks okay. seems pretty good. So okay. I can take the cage off without the cork. Yep. Just don't look down at it. You know, oh, just, as I just did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing everything wrong already. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Winning. So on every bottle of champagne, there's gonna be like this line here, this okay. seam where the the glass is joined. Sure. I see okay. that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this saber, uh -huh. usually the back side. You can use the front, but you know if you're doing this at home, you don't you don't <laughs> want to you know ruin your kitchen knife or anything like that. Yes. And so you're just going to run this along the back side of that line until it strikes that lip. Right I notice there, that you have lip. a little. There's a little divot in the knife there that is sort of between the, the notches. This is, is a specialty tool, you know. You're going to aim yeah, for I'm that. I'm a professional. You are a professional. Okay. Thank God. So you're going to run up and you're going to strike that, uh -huh. and it's not like a really just kind of. Hey, wait a minute, it took part of the bottle off too. Yeah. Oh my. And there we have it. I am nervous to try this. Yeah. Okay. okay. Got the saber. You, you can do it. Okay, now just slide now, it up. Hold it, hold it down closer to, yeah, hold it by the Oh, down body. there. Yeah, there you go. Lauren. You find that seam? Lauren is already like Let's find that seam. <laughs> yeah. There's the seam right there. Okay. okay. So There's you're just going to run it along there and strike that bottom edge. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm just worried about it breaking it. Hey! Hey! Opa! <laughs> well, that is really cool, but so is there any danger of like glass in there? No. Okay. <laughs> I brought it for you to drink, so that's, that's fine. Right. Yeah. I feel so bad we're wasting two bottles of champagne. No, no. So, wow. So, when is this competition happening? So, July 20th, uh, ENO of the Banks at 2 p.m. Nice. So, I'm going to, you know, uh, do, my, do my best. We're going to have a DJ. We're going to have. Uh, we're going to have a, a, a big crowd there, and I'm going to have the bottles all in a row, and we're going to have a, make it a big party. Well, you are a rock star, man. This is really cool. I've never tried that before. I'm glad <laughs> I was able to make it happen. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and kudos to you, and Ignition Wine is where you guys are with, right? Yeah, so uh, I started the company last year, so I distribute fine wine to bottle shops and, and retail spaces and restaurants all throughout uh, Ohio and Kentucky. This is great stuff, Keegan. I'm sure we're going to have you back. Learn something brand new here, Catherine, and guess what? I got all the fingers still intact. Yes.